Hi everyone, we are coming to you again from Armand's tutoring session. That's why that's right, y'all. He's pumped. And what we're gonna do, he's gonna show you guys what he was creating with the clay while I was giving him a short assessment on the rest of the letters in the alphabet. We had to, we had left off with H. So today we picked up on I and we went all the way to Z and he did phenomenal while he was making the cake. Go right ahead, Armand. Tell everybody. This is carrot cake made out of peanuts. Oh. And carrots. Oh my goodness. Carrot cake made out of peanuts and carrots. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. What kind of icing is on that cake, by the way? Because that's one of my favorite cakes. Um. I hope it's uh, uh all right tell me tell me I, white icing it's white icing okay you like it you yeah like yeah white. it's that see i like that that cream cheese frosting on my carrot cake oh my gosh it i know it's not healthy cheese. i know it has really cream cheese <laughs> it better be happy because it has cheese cheese now come around here Armand. now i'm going to read to you all the quote this quote right here is by Toni Morrison and it says, if there is a book that you want to read but it hasn't been written yet, then you must write it. And Toni Morrison, she is an African-American author, all right? And an author does what, Armand? It, it um, tell people about different books and stuff. Okay, so the author is the one who, do they draw the pictures in the book or do they write the words? They like the words and the pictures. If, 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 they, if they didn't have a picture one, they had to do this. They had to do this two things. Okay. All right. Exactly. I understand perfectly well what you were saying. So an author can actually be an illustrator too. So they can write the words as well as draw the pictures. Awesome. And what she was saying in this quote again, this like we me and Armand talked about earlier. If there's a book that that you want to read and you do not, you can't find that book, you go to the library and you're like, man, there are not a lot of books that I like to read, then you can become an author. Is, is that correct, Armand? Yes. That's what's up. So now what we're going to do, our last part, I'm going to show you guys the game that I bought for Armand. And what does okay. it say on here? Um, that actually, that's just like a ball of ribbon. And basically, and it says, da -da -da, what does that say? Oh. It says made in China, and it just talks about how long the ribbon is. So oh, me, it's made mm -hmm. with tape too. It's ribbon, so you can use it for you can use it for decoration or anything like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. So let me now, our mom. Remember, we talked before we got started because we want to tell everybody quickly what the rules of the game are. The game is. Basically, what you're gonna do is I'm going to have Armand. Pick up um, He's going to turn over one of the yellow cards. So go ahead, Armand. Turn over a yellow card. Okay. Awesome. And this card has one of the sight words that we were going over. These are just some kindergarten sight words that I've been having Armand practice because he's getting ready to go, actually go into first grade, but we were practicing still some of the kindergarten sight words as well. And first graders and, and first graders, because some teachers have um, five-year-olds and six-year-olds. That's right. So this sight word, what does that say? Do you know what that says, Armand? Her. Excellent. Now you see that sight word says her. Then what you're gonna do, Armand? Turn over the white cards up under that word her. Go ahead and turn them over quickly. Great. Turn over the one next to it. All right, and this one next to it. Now, are those letters uh, in the correct order? Those, do those letters look like this word, how that word is written on that card? No. No. Can you please put those letters in the correct order? Awesome. Awesome, I love it, I love it. So right there, this is another way to help Armand, number one, be able to, in one second Armand, be able to continue to practice with his sight words. And he's also learning how to spell those sight words, right? 
he saw the example of that word and he saw how it should be written in the correct way and he put the uh, letters in the correct order, right? So he unscrambled them and put them in the correct order. Now Armand, this is the last part. Now, since he got it correctly, he has to stand back. There you go. And he has to make a basket using that ball of ribbon. Obviously I use something soft like a ball of ribbon because we're not outside playing. All right, Armand, go right ahead. Ooh, he banked it in off the back of that chair. Did y'all see that? Go ahead, brother. That's what's up. That's my dude right there. All right, y'all, I just wanted to show you guys that, and that's how the game works. All you have to do is you saw exactly what we did step by step, and you can do this with your kids at home. And, um, Again, we'll be coming to you again next time at our two session, y'all. Brought to you by ABC Learn and ABC Read. That's what's up. Happy reading, y'all.